So we need to multiply. We're going to do a times b and b times a. Now, I need to make sure that I can really do that. So I know the first one here is a 1 by 3 matrix, and this one is a 3 by 1. So for the first one, if I want to do a times b, I have a 1 by 3 times a 3 by 1, which means my answer is going to be a 1 by 1. So this is one that's really important that you know the sizes of your matrix. So if it's a 1 by 1 matrix, that means that we're going to take the row and add each one down the column. So let me explain that in, actually in numbers. So I take the 2 times 1 plus 0 times 3 plus 4 times 7. And so that becomes 2 plus 0 plus 28, which is just 30. Now over here on the right, we're doing b times a. So we're doing a 3 by 1 times a 1 by 3. So I take out the middle. So I'm going to have a 3 by 3 is going to be my ultimate answer. So now how are you going to do that? It's actually much easier. And I want to rewrite it because it'll make it easier if we see the b first. So we've got 1, 3, and 7. And then we're multiplying by 2, 0, and 4. So I said I need a 3 by 3 matrix. And for a lot of people, if you draw in your lines, you can actually figure out exactly what you need. See, this is row 1, column 1. So here's row 1 and column 1. So that's going to be 1 times 2. And then I need to do row 1, column 2, so 1 times 0, and then 1 times 4. So then I have row 2, column 1, so I've got 3 times 2, 3 times 0, and 3 times 4. Then I've got row 3, column 1, so I've got 7 times 2, 7 times 0, and 7 times 4. First couple times you do it, it's like, what? And then you go, oh yeah, totally get it. So I need, need to simplify, so I get 2, 0, 4, 6, 0, 12, uh, 14, 0, 28.